Thank you, everyone. Um, hello, I'm calling this talk OSMUS Community Chronicles, uh, exploring the growth and temporal uh, patterns of mapping in OSM in North America. Let's start with the picture. This year, we're averaging about 900 active mappers each day, which you can see has grown considerably in recent years. How did we get here? This graph quantifies a mapper's first edit in North America by month. So for example, in August 2009, 1,700 contributors edited in North America for the first time. And in January 2017, close to 7,000 contributors edited in North America for the first time. Let's put those numbers in a bit of context. Here's how we compare to the global OSM community. And now I want to break this down just a bit further. Based on when a mapper made their first North American edit, how long did they stick around mapping? I really like to use this measurement of uh, mapping days as opposed to edits, uh, meaning these are distinct days that a mapper has been active. In this way, we're crediting uh, mappers that are active uh, editing one or 100 objects uh, the same each day. So this blue line now represents only the number of mappers who started mapping in North America and continued on to map more than seven days. So here's that first peak, and we see that in August 2009, just over 200 of those initial 1,700 mappers continued to map more than seven days in the coming 11 years. And of the nearly 7,000 mappers that started in January 2017, uh, just under 500 of them stuck around for seven days or more. As we increase the threshold, we see here at this 30-day mark, for example, uh, the purple line represents mappers who went, stuck around for more than 30 days after their first edit in North America. Most notably, we see a significant growth since 2017, averaging about 50 mappers who start editing in North America each month and then continuing to map for more than 30 days. So finally, let's look at how temporal patterns of mapping have changed over the years. What time and on which days do mappers contribute to North America? This violin plot shows the breakdown of what time of day in US Eastern time mappers were actively mapping in North America in 2011. The line through the middle represents the median time for mappers active each day, meaning that most mappers were active around 10 a.m. Eastern time. We see that in 2011, there was not much of a change in median editing time throughout the week. Notice that between 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. Eastern time is the bulk of the editing, where the area is the widest. Though, this feels a bit early for the US, given this is 2 a.m. on the West Coast. However, that is 10 a.m. in Europe. So I think what we see here in 2011 are European mappers active early in the day and the North American mappers coming online throughout the day. Next, we see here the median number of mappers active per hour for each day of the week. In 2011, there was little variation between the days of the week, with a median value of just under 20 mappers active hourly. And finally, we see the number of mappers active per hour over the summer between July and September. This is a fairly uh, jagged line with little discernible pattern. But now let's see how these patterns evolve throughout the years. We had 2012, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, and now 2017 marks the beginning of a really discernible uh, weekly mapping pattern. The top plot hasn't changed much. The medians for each year are fairly similar. We now have a median of about 50 mappers active per hour on weekdays, but markedly fewer on Saturday and Sunday. Our bottom plot now, mappers active uh, over the summer, is developing peaks and troughs um, where we have weekends with uh, lower mapping activity than during the week. So this is our new temporal mapping pattern starting in 2017. And let's watch how this grows. 2018, we see those peaks and troughs are getting more extreme. 2019, we start to see a change in the hours of a day that mappers are active. And 2020, notably the shapes of the violins on top have changed with a median uh, editing time of 3 p.m. for weekdays. In the middle, we see more than 100 mappers active per hour on weekdays with far fewer on weekends. And in the bottom, we see extreme peaks and troughs with more than 100 uh, difference of 100 uh, mappers active per hour. So 
That was a lot of information very quickly. Thank you. Um, I want to put a plug in here for Birds of a Feather tomorrow. Uh, I'm calling it How Do We Know What We Know? And so I'm inviting people to come discuss, share, um, uh, question, and learn about different approaches to OSM analysis. Um, and I'm going to post all of uh, these slides and the methods of how I did all this on my OSM diary. So thank you very much. And thank you all for, um, yeah, thank you all for organizing this.